And, and how do Republicans save face and yeah. Democrats um, give a little without uh, giving in to extremists? Yeah, I said there's two things here. One, I've been speaking out against Ted Cruz and this whole crazy movement since uh, since it started. I think that, first of all, uh, right now there's no doubt the Democrats are winning. And, you know, they know it. But the president is also the head of the whole country. And I'm saying he's got to play a more aggressive role. I'm not saying with negotiating, whatever you want to call it, but get people in a room, show this is serious, and at the same time, show we as Republicans to anticipate there's going to be another one of these in six weeks or eight weeks or three months, whatever it is. And we just can't have Republicans, national Republicans, uh, criticizing the system or saying this was the wrong decision to make. We have to anticipate Ted Cruz is going to try to do this again. Ted Cruz and 30 or 40 people in the House, and we have to start going after him by name. I've been doing it all along. Mm -hmm. I wish I had more company on it. The fact is that this person, what's going to happen, Joe, a month from now, after this is resolved, he's going to say Republicans are on the edge of winning, but they lost their nerve at the end and they caved in. This time it's going to work. And he's going to rewrite history, and we have to make sure he doesn't do it. It's really time to speak out against him. And also, so, again, there's about 30 or 40 in the House who are going to go with him. We, got, we can't let John Boehner and Eric Hansa be put into this position again. They told us in mid-September this would be...